Whoa, it's the illusion reporting from somewhere on Spaceship Earth down here at the post office going to send your uh, shirts, hats, and stickers to uh, locations on Spaceship Earth. Owls fell asleep on the way here, so I'm going to let them get a little, little extra sleep because we've been uh, going at it lately with this new little buddy, Dylan. Wow, those guys are having a blast. And uh, thought I'd make a video to give him a little bit more sleep time. So I get asked a lot about, about important books in my life. And so I was, I was driving here and I was thinking about, you know, one of the most important books in, in my recent life, and it, it's, it's going to be pretty specific for a certain group of people, was the book that uh, helped me return to my natural state as a non-smoker. because, uh, And it's the book called The Easy Way by Alan Carr. For any of you struggling with, with nicotine and cigarettes and that kind of thing, it's the magic book. I'm not going to spoil it with what it does, but it does a, it's, it's got a trick. It's pretty cool. And um, with a little bit of a disclaimer here, I was, uh, you know, I was a, a mucha beer, a mucha cigarette kind of guy at the bar, pain in the ass, you know, never bought cigarettes, would bug you for a smoke, you know, one every now and then kind of guy. Then I got sober and everybody getting sober was smoking cigarettes. And uh, so... I joined the ranks, man. I think I bought like my first serious pack of cigarettes like day two getting sober. And so I'll, the, my disclaimer is this, is early sobriety, cigarettes and coffee saved my life. I couldn't have done it, you know? And I don't, I'm not recommending that. I'm just saying that like, again, with life, you know what, man, I don't have an opinion against or an opinion for. I just have an experience with. But what I do know is if you want to put something into your body that's that's lethal and toxic, like cigarettes are right up there with, with glyphosate and high fructose corn syrup. But it, what's interesting is the, uh, the cigarette companies get all this bad attention, yet Monsanto and the people who make aspartame and glyphosate, redundant there, get no attention. So I don't know. Anyway, my experience was this. So I was smoking and I was about... I was about six months into sobriety, man, and I remember rolling back with my uh, sp my sponsor after a meeting, and, and I was like, you know, man, this is all nonsense. You know, coffee and cigarettes will kill you, man. Like, this is full hip. They're drugs, dude. And he's like, yeah, yeah, you, you got a point. And he's like, let me tell you something. Coffee and cigarettes aren't gonna have you get in a car and kill a family. Coffee and cigarettes aren't gonna get you arrested tonight. Coffee and cigarettes might kill you in the future, but they're not gonna kill you today. And his, he said to me that like, when you are ready to be no longer be a smoker, you will cease to be a smoker. And I was like, all right, all right, man. So I went about my business for about two years smoking cigarettes. And I've told stories about it sitting on my, my stoop at my house like, oh, woe is me. Oh, poor me. Like, oh, this is so gnarly, dude, and blah, blah, blah. But the fact of the matter is, man, like, that's what I had. That's what I killed my time with, man, for better or worse, right? So I used to, you know, I was, I was all where I was making illusion videos. And I guess what I was thinking about this is some of my early illusion videos, I'm smoking in them. And I was thinking about what a trippy journey it's been. Because I put my last cigarette out 
Oh, man. It's, it's coming up on six years ago. August, I mean, September, October 30th. Getting off of Interstate 5. 101 or, yeah, 101 Interchange Lake Forest Boulevard on the way to the Etnies, my first Etnies Bowl Jam. And I've never looked back. I've never looked back. I just, and what it was, was I read this book by Alan Carr. And P, and basically the book dispels all the gimmicks. And it and it's a big thing like what I talk about is the words you tell yourself are super important. And it was all about you're not quitting, you're not giving up anything because that's a mind trick to make you feel like you're, you're le- losing something. It was all about you returning to your natural state as a non-smoker. And But what the interesting thing the book has you do is you smoke while you read the book, man. You'll smoke while you read the book. And it's, I, 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 I'm not going to spoil it, dude, for those of you who are going to quit. But I'm going to say that it worked for real. And most people who have used the book as it's written have found it to be, found it to work, man. And. I got this weird system. I, I write down everybody's names because Etsy gets me super confused right as I mail them. And then I, any, anyway, so I read this book, man. And I, and to anyone out there smoking, dude, it's, it's the book. It worked. But again, like with anything in life, if you don't want it to work, it's not going to work, man. But if you want to get off of the, uh, the cigarettes, and the nicotine. And I'll tell you this. I'll tell you this, man. You know what you was, su- is, was super alarming to me? Which really helped kind of push it home was when I would, I would go and be out skateboarding, right? And I'd set up my camera and I'd film myself. And I could hear myself huffing and puffing between runs. Like I'd finish a run and then I'd be done and I could hear myself just like... <gasps> And I was like, I would be, you know, editing video and I'd be like, oh my God, that's so disturbing. And, um, yeah, the easy way by Alan Carr. If there's no, like I said, man, I don't want to say there's no reason to smoke because I've, I needed cigarettes to get sober, man. I couldn't have done it without cigarettes. Again, I'm not recommending them. They're full toxic waste, but yet where I was in time and space with where I was in a lower dimensional reality, struggling to get out of that lower dimensional reality. It was a lower dimensional tool that, that worked for me. You know, I, I know, I see, and I know people I love that's that, that still are messing around with the nicotine and stuff. And I, yeah, I, I, it's gnarly, dude. It's one of the gnarlier drugs out there, dude. But, but as I, more as I move forward, like there's gnarly drugs for gnarly reasons. I think the gnarliest one is high fructose corn syrup and aspartame and glyphosate. There's no books written about that really. They're probably just for the high fructose corn syrup. But I guess what I'm getting at is I'm just recommending a book, The Easy Way by Alan Carr. If you don't want to smoke cigarettes and you're ready, dude, you read this book. I, I've never looked back, man. I have never looked back on my journey from the time I put that cigarette cigarette out on Lake Forest Boulevard almost six years ago. I don't even, I look at people smoking and it trips me out. I'm like, whoa, there's people still smoking. It's so, once you get over the, the hump, it's the, you watch people smoking cigarettes and you're like, that is the weirdest concept on the planet, man. It is so bizarre. Only, only a, a mass media marketing machine could get people to smoke cigarettes, dude, that are just full of poisons. It's 
bizarro. But like I said, dude, people are sucking down sodas like there's no tomorrow too and eating fast food. So, hey man, we're just doing the best we can. I drove a car to get here. So, you know, I'm putting that out there. I, that's my my thing with, with the easy way by Alan Carr and cigarettes and my journey to return to my natural state as a non-smoker, man. This is the illusion. Signing off, going to the post office, put your mail in the box.